crazy out, so I'm gonna react to it. And he definitely needs to see how far. It was August 20th, 2021, and it was a warm summer night in the city of Chicago, and it was a night that wrestling fans will never ever forget. It was the night where the rumors of the return of one wrestler sold out the United Center in 4 minutes. It was the night where the wrestling world stood still. After 7 long years, after illegal battles, after a failed MMA career, after all hope being lost that CM Punk would ever wrestle again, he made his return to wrestling. And the magnitude of his return was out of this world. There were people crying. It was hype, bro. After Punk returned to wrestling. I never thought... I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't think him coming to AEW was true, bro. Him coming back to wrestling, I didn't think it was true. I, I thought like, he was done for wrestling forever, bro. But now, I mean, it came out as true. People jumping for joy, social media going insane, CM Punk was back, and the best part was, this time, it wasn't in the WWE. AEW had finally found their guy. It was the biggest free agent signing since TNA signed Kurt Angle back in 2006. AEW had finally found their star. They finally found their guy who was kind of known to the mainstream who could and would bring eyes to the company and a man that they knew was truly a draw in the wrestling world. And for the next year, CM Punk had the run of a lifetime in AEW. Yo, in just one year, the man helped AEW do its highest buy rate, its highest gate, helped set attendance records, gave the world a legendary feud, and just had the perfect return to wrestling. Until... It all fell apart. CM Punk isn't just known to be one of the best wrestlers, one of the biggest stars, he is also known to be one of the most controversial figures in wrestling. Someone who doesn't hold his tongue and honestly someone who just does not give a fuck. So only a year after his storybook return, Punk was basically gone from the company after a legendary rant at a press conference calling the VPs of the company fucking idiots, going on a rampage and instigating a full blown backstage beef. This man wanted all the smoke, was out here moving like King Von and before you it, the company's biggest star was gone, and once again the question was, was he ever going to wrestle again? This is a guy who seems to cause problems everywhere he goes, and this is the guy who has people thinking if the headache that comes with CM Punk is even worth it. To say it's complicated is an understatement. But as time has gone on, AEW as a program has definitely moved on. As the Elite have come back and done their thing, as new champions have been crowned, as so many banger matches have been taking place every single week. But despite that, despite all of that, it would be a lie to say that CM Punk's presence isn't missed on AEW programming. And at the end of the day, I think it's clear, AEW needs CM Punk. Bro, so they could all make money, make a storyline out of it, bro. That's a fact, bro. That's what AEW has done in its first four years as a company is nothing short of legendary, and I don't think people realize how special it has been what we've seen grow in front of us. And whether some people want to admit it or not, CM Punk played a huge role. They had a man who could still go, who wasn't washed, who made people. He's 45 years old, he's in his mid 40s, bro. We all know that he's in his mid forties. Like, look at look at his beard, bro. That's mad gray hair on gray hair on his beard, bro. He's not getting any younger. He's getting older, bro. Carrying the product, who is still at the top of his game, maybe not physically, but someone who, as soon as he walked out, just came off as on another level compared to the entire roster. And he was such an integral part of the company for that one year that his shadow will always linger. Even now, eight months later since he was last seen, when people think of the AEW dream matches, no name comes up more than CM Punk. When you think of all the potential storylines that will sell pay per views, that will make money, that may will make people care. No one's name comes up more than CM Punk. Who does everyone want to see MJF defend the title against? CM Punk. Who does everyone want to see Brian Danielson take on again? CM Punk. And now with AEW venturing into London, England, venturing into the Wembley Stadium, the one match that they could do that would move the most tickets, the match that the world wants to see, the match that would be the biggest seller, 
it's no doubt CM Punk versus Kenny Omega. A dream match before there ever was a real life beef and now with the beef it becomes even more magic. A crowd split down the middle in the rowdy UK with the fans going crazy. It's the biggest match that AEW can do without a doubt. It's the one match that they can do that would definitely take the company to the next level. And that's where it's like, if the VPs really want what's best for the company, their company, if they want this thing to grow, to go even further, and if they want to make noise in the UK, and if they want to sell more pay-per-views than ever, draw their largest attendance ever, as the VPs of the company, why wouldn't you put your beef aside? We don't know what was said, we don't know how bad it was, but the backstage petty bullshit is still backstage petty bullshit. The reality is, the fans are begging for- They can eat it off of it, like, they can make a story now. All of it. It happens in wrestling all the time, bro. You know, wrestlers beef with each other in real life, got started with each other in real life. You know, like, um, you know, they make, they make money out of it. They make a story line out of it, bro. There's money to be made, and in my opinion, AEW hasn't felt the same without Punk. Yeah, it's still been bangers every week, it's still been a great show, but it's not the same. And the noise that a CM Punk vs Kenny Omega match would make, it would be massive. And best of all, apparently, CM Punk is down. For weeks now, there have been rumors that CM Punk is down to come back, that CM Punk is down to work with the Elite, and even though I said AEW needs Punk, I think CM Punk needs AEW just as much. This is a man who loves wrestling. Even though it might come off as he hates it sometimes, this is what he dedicated his life to, what he's broke bones for. And honestly, I've never seen a wrestler more happy for that one year as a wrestler than how happy CM Punk was in AEW. This guy would come out every single week with the biggest smile on his face, so there's no way you can tell me that he doesn't genuinely want to go back. He was gone for 7 years and he definitely got that love for the game back and listen I don't know the man, I never will, but I just don't see how he doesn't want to come back and finish off his career on the right foot, not the broken one. Finish it off like how a legendary career deserves to be finished, not kicked out of a company because of a press conference, but go back and end it properly with the MJF match, the Omega match, make an ROH return. I don't think he wants to go out like this. It's honestly something that both sides need in my opinion, and it's what the wrestling fans need. Time heals all wounds, and so does money, and so does doing what you love and making magic in that ring that will last forever. And obviously, I'm not a wrestler, I've never been in that situation, but to me it's like, like, if Matt Hardy, Edge, and Lita can work a program, if HBK and Bret Hart, regardless of- That's what I'm saying, you know, wrestlers, you know, they might hate each other in real life, but like, it's, you know, like, they might don't like each other, but it's still a job, you have to stay professional, you are. How it ended, if they can still get into the ring in 1997 Survivor Series, I don't think there's a valid reason why both sides can't come together on this. But for that to happen, everyone needs to grow up. For all we know, this is a disaster waiting to happen. This could end up being an even bigger mess if Punk goes back, you know, more fights, more drama, more people getting bitten shit. But that's what makes it interesting. Omega said he wants what's best for pro wrestling. CM Punk said the return of wrestling was the number one moment of his career. There are countless wrestlers backstage who love CM Punk, respect him, and they want him back. And even though there are ones that don't want him back, they don't have to work with him. I know it's not easy, it's complicated, and I can only imagine the back and forth they're having to work this out. But as an outsider, as a fan, listen man, Wembley Stadium, Punk comes back, takes on Omega, it doesn't get bigger than that for AEW. If it ends in a brawl for all backstage after the match, fuck it. Let's at least get the 50,000 people in the stadium. The wrestling world needs this. Okay, that's the fit, bro. Let me know what you think, bro. Do y'all want to see do y'all want to see CM Punk return to AEW? Comment yes or no, bro. Alright, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibes. Leave us a second now you are.